pockets of forensic detectives. Look, folks, carbon monoxide meter. And guess what, folks? It's really waterproof. It's a shockproof, waterproof carbon monoxide detector invented by me, Dr. Cos, at Forensics Detectors. Look, folks, LED vibration and buzzer alarms. It has a Honeywell three year sensor, two year battery, and it is calibrated to NIST traceable sources here in Los Angeles, folks, and it's IP67, which means it is really, really waterproof. Have a great day. Select your carbon monoxide detector. Well, see you later. Ready to the unboxing of our FD-103 carbon monoxide detector works in this version of detectors. At the moment, 2020, we have four versions, carbon monoxide, low level oxygen, hydrogen and sulfide. In the future, there may be more, but what the point here is, make sure what you ordered is ticked, folks. Let's get straight to the unboxing. Grab yourself a knife, pop open the box. And by the way, this is a, this is a strong box, 100 pound rated. So you could even stand on it, it won't break. We want to assure you, you get your detector very safely, folks. Pop out the detector, it's bubble wrapped, so it's protected well. It comes with a strap, as you could see. Bang, if you want to pop the strap on, you can. And your calibration cap will show you how to use that today, folks. The calibration inspection report is here. Make sure it's signed, folks, and make sure the NIST calibration stamp is on there. What's good? A gas detector, if it hasn't been properly calibrated, totally useless, throw it off the cliff. Calibration is everything when it comes to gas detectors you know that you've seen my videos now folks the menu is here check it out we're gonna go through the menu today it's all here you lose it not a problem it's on the website folks everything's here you lose everything you've lost, lost your bearings look email us we're right over here we're not running away then throw that away put that on the side then some simple reminders from Dr. Cos. He loves the feedback and make sure you read these folks. It tells you to calibrate. It tells you to bump test. It tells you to charge the battery. Some friendly reminders. Okie dokie. Let's get straight to the unboxing folks. Straight to business. No missing around here with Dr. Cos. We get straight to it. Life is too short to screw around folks. Okie dokie now. This is the gas detector, folks, FD-103 carbon monoxide. Turn it around. It's an etched back plate. Look. Carbon monoxide, is that what you bought? If it is, you're in business. Check the serial number. Make sure it matches with the calibration certificate. Then you're in business, folks. Okie dokie. So that's the back plate. The battery is within it. If you ever want to change the battery, get your hex and take those off. Here we have the alligator clip. It is held in with a little notch and the screw. If you don't want that, no problem. Grab yourself the Phillips screwdriver. Take it off. Not a problem at all. Look, feels great. Rubberized housing can take a really top drop there. Not a problem at all. And look, folks, this is the power button. Hold it down for two seconds and it vibrates, tells you, hello, I'm alive. And it's going to go through the alarm settings. The first alarm, low alarm is 50 ppm. These are the presets, folks. And it's going to tell you the high alarm is 200 ppm. That may be good for you or it may not be good for you. If it's good for you, leave it. If it's not good for you, then you have to change your alarm levels, don't you, folks? Okay, we're going to, and we're going to do that today. So just hold on tight. Look, here is the sensor. The white thing you see is the actual membrane, the waterproof membrane to protect the sensor or water going onto the sensor. Okay, because it is a is an IP67 rated detector. This is the menu, select the button, power button as you saw already, the display as you've seen. And here, this hole, this orifice is our buzzer hole. Okay, folks, and the LED bar is all along here. See that black bar? When that's alarming, that's flashing a red LED. Very, very nice indeed. And that's basically it, folks. As you could see, this is the unit from all angles, from all angles, and it's ready to rock and roll. Now, I'm going to present to you one, so we don't have to wait, then we could carry on, one that has already passed the countdown. And sometimes, sometimes, um, you know, it wavers off, or you have a baseline that isn't zero, it's two, three. In this case, I've dramatized it, it's seven, okay? And I'm gonna tell you how to deal with that situation. But if you take it out of the box, it's gonna read zero. If it doesn't read zero, we're gonna show you how to zero calibrate it, okay? Now, look, this unit has a backlight. You press the power button quickly, and it shows you the nice back plot. This is nice when you're in the dark spot and you just want to have a quick look. There you go, bang. Now, in the display mode, so this is the standard display mode, you could press the menu button. That tells you the short-term 15-minute level, the 8-hour level. This is the time-weighted average um, 
levels that it's calculating as it's operating and the time. You want to change the time, hold down the menu button again and it gets into the edit mode of the time. You could press the power button to change the, the numbers here. Okay, folks. And then you could keep going through. If you're happy with that, hold down the menu button. Every time you hold down the menu button, you're telling it, enter, I'm done, lock it in. Okay, folks. And then again, we could scroll through now. This is showing um, a larger level of carbon monoxide now. So we're going to go for a zero calibrate, okay? The way we do that is we press the menu button and we're going to go into our menu options. We have to first put the passcode. One is the passcode and then two and then three and then four. One, two, three, four. Once you've done that, hold it down, folks. And then you go, you're in the actual menu options. It tells you, do you want to change the low level, low alarm level? No, I don't. Do you want to change the high alarm level? No, I don't. Do you want to zero calibrate? Yes, I do. It shouldn't be 11. It shouldn't be 7. It shouldn't be 14. I'm going to hold down it, the button and it, I've selected zero. It's saying, are you sure? It's flashing to say, are you sure, Dr. Koz, you want to zero calibrate this thing? Yes, I do. I'm going to hold it down again, and it goes to zero. And after a few seconds, that Z will disappear, and I'm back to the start, to the display mode. There, there you go. I've zero calibrated, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Now, let's go in again. And it said, Dr. Koz, but I want to change those alarm levels. Okay, let's do it. So first, we have to go into the menu options. Okay, hold down the menu button, lock it in. Oh, I want to change this. Well, hold down the menu button again, and it allows you to change it. That's the third digit. I want to go to the second digit, and let's say I want 40. Instead of 50, I want 40. Okay, you could change it like that. Press Enter, press Enter again. Keep pressing Enter, it scrolls through. You see that, right? But if I want to enter the whole number, hold it down for two seconds, and bang. You've told it 40 and it's locked it in, but I could still keep scrolling through the menu options. And that is the way it works. If I don't do anything within about four seconds, this will go back to the normal display mode, okay? Look at that, it's gonna go bang. Four seconds, it goes back to the normal display mode. If I wanna go back in the menu mode, I have to go through the password um, activity that we just did, okay? So now let's do that again. Now let's say, Dr. Koz, I wanna calibrate, I wanna do a span calibrate. Again, I want to remind people, if you do a span calibrate, you have to first do a zero calibrate. And we've already done that, so that's good. So let's go forward in our span calibrate. Hold down the menu button. Put the passcode in. You know what it is by now, right? Oh, oopsie doozy. Put three. And we go four. Okay, hold down the menu button. Bang, I know where to go. I'm going to go to the C. C means calibrate. Calibrate. I'm going to hold it down. And it says... 500 parts per million for calibrate. Well, it depends on the gas bottle you have. Look, Dr. Kaz has carbon monoxide here. It's my mix, and I got 100 parts per million. I'm not going to enter 500. I'm going to tell it 100 because I'm going to expose it to 100 and I'm going to lock in 100. So go through and change that. Okay, just like so. 100. Enter. And now it's ready to accept the gas. Now, folks, look. We have our gas, let's just put that there. We have our gas bottle, our regulator, our tubing attached onto the calibration cap that came with the detector, folks. You remember that? We unboxed it, pop that on. It's a clamp style calibration cap and make sure it's snugly fit. That little hole is the exit hole for the gas. Turn on the valve and start exposing the detector to 100 parts per million. Now, Dr. Koz has much experience in this. So even from the audible sound of the gas, he knows the flow. We're looking for about 0.5 liters per minute. Okay, folks, 0.5 liters per minute and 60 seconds. We're going to come back in 60 seconds because this has to rise up and reach the high level until it sort of stabilizes. Okay, let's come back in 60 seconds. All right, folks, we're back live and we've waited 60 seconds and the values reached 86. And we know we're putting in 100 and it's showing 86. It's not in calibration. So once we're done and it's stabilized, press M to enter that button. It's 100. After a few seconds, we're back to the normal display mode, folks, and you're done. It's as simple as that. See, the C comes off. It tells you it's locked in. 
it's live, it's reading instantaneous, and the alarms are going off because it's exceeded the low-level alarm that we set at 40 parts per million, if you recall. And that's the way it works. Turn off the valve. And again, folks, make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area. What I'm doing here, it's well-ventilated at the lab at Forensics Detectors. See, it's going to start decreasing now because we took off the gas. And that's the unboxing. That's the calibration. And that's the all of the above of this beauty FD-103 Forensics Detectors waterproof shockproof gas detector folks look have a great day say hi to everyone in your family for me see you later bye bye